I wonder if this would work. Alexa, what is cystic fibrosis? Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disorder that affects mostly the lungs, but also the pancreas, liver, kidneys, and intestine. Good to know. I got cystic fibrosis. See, I've got cystic fibrosis. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to Staying Salty Season 3. So as you guys probably already know, the first week's topic is packing for the hospital. Um, this is probably the most inconvenient time for me to do this video right now. I ended up uh, just moving out into my own place um, in my new apartment right now. There's boxes everywhere I'm about to show you guys. It's a mess. So I would theoretically, you know, walk you around my apartment and say, hey, this is why I pack. I bring this for this reason, this for that reason. Um, I don't know where anything is right now, so I can show you stuff even if I wanted to. But I'll do my best at telling you guys my thought process when it comes to packing for the hospital and what I remember that I typically bring and how I go about it. So let's get started. All right, so just to show you guys what I'm working with right now, um, you can see in here my living room. I hung my TV up last night. Overall, the living room's a mess, right? Don't even look over here. Go in the dining room. All my boxes were over here. Um, you know, luckily, I mean, this is actually amazing for how it looked yesterday. So I've been doing a lot of work. Kitchen just has boxes and stuff everywhere. You know, hallway. It, it You know, long story short, it's a mess, right? But I'll go ahead and tell you guys uh, my approach to packing for the hospital and what I typically bring. And of course, you guys know I'm big on lists. I always make a list. Uh, let me get sit back down so it's easier to talk to you guys. So always, um, always get a list. If you, like, I know this is hard because you're sick and you don't want to do anything, but when you're healthy, or even when you start to feel an infection coming on or exacerbation, make a list of stuff that you do on a regular basis, like what you use, whether it be your computer, your phone, um, you know the TV which you can't bring the TV to the hospital, but uh, your video game system like an Xbox um, You know all your meds like what do you use on a daily basis that? You just know like you would want in the hospital especially you're gonna be probably ten times border More bored in the hospital than you are at home um, So that's just something to think about guys make sure you make your list I did not make an efficient list when I moved to this apartment and the very next day I spent the night here. I woke up and I was like Oh, I'm gonna take a shower. No, I'm not. No shower curtain. Um, you know, no groceries, no paper towels, no hand soap, like nothing. So uh, that's how important lists are. Like they're critical. Uh, anyway, so what I usually take to the hospital, um, and this is a by the way, disclaimer, this is a doctor non-friendly video, I guess you'd say, uh, and I'll explain why. So I bring my backpack first of all. My backpack's like my to-go bag, right? And so I have my inhalers in my backpack. Um, I have my airway clearance handheld devices like my Cornet or my or Aerobica. Uh, I have my ibuprofen. I have my enzymes. And I know, ideally, you're not supposed to bring that stuff, right? Because they're gonna provide it all for you. The nurses don't want you taking medicine without them knowing. Uh, I get that, I get that. But from experience, as you guys probably already know, you might ask for a medication and you're not gonna get it for two or three hours maybe. And like sim something simple like ibuprofen or enzymes. The first day or two that I'm in the hospital, they always, always are delayed. Because of, oh, well, we don't have your orders yet. We have to wait for the doctor. No, no, no. Like, I need enzymes to eat, right? I'm not gonna not eat. I'm not gonna eat without enzymes. So I have my backup stash. Um, I just take it when I need it. Luckily, you know, it usually gets sorted out pretty quickly and I don't end up needing it. Um, whether you tell the nurse that you did take it or didn't take it, that's a whole other thing. Uh, but anyway, so I first and foremost bring that type of stuff. Um, second in my backpack, you know, I always bring my computer. Um, one, to surf the web, right? Uh, now, especially that I have the career in app development, I, I'm usually working in the hospital as well. So I bring my computer. What goes along with the computer? A charger. So I bring my charger. Um, of course I bring my phone, of course I bring my phone charger. Um, let's see, what else do I bring? 
Um, so I bring cash actually. Um, I got I got in trouble for this one time. I had so it's gonna be weird, but I had like three hundred dollars or so in cash in my backpack. Um, that's just, I, I'm like one of these people who likes to store hidden cash places because I feel like it's like my own private like savings account that like I can just use in emergencies. Anyway, the story is I had a lot of cash on me in my backpack and they wanted to check my backpack at this one hospital I got admitted to. Um, it wasn't on a CF floor so it's kind of a weird circumstance. They go through my backpack and they're like, you have all this money in here, like we want to put it into a safe. I'm like, no, 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 you're not taking the money out of my sight. And they're like, no, 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 we'll keep it safe. Like. The safe's going to be back here. And I was like, no, I don't care where the safe is. It's my money. It's my right. You're not taking my money out. But I always bring cash. Reason being is, um, you know, if you want something out of the vending machine, right? Or you want to take a walk outside and you see a pizza place or a Jimmy John's or something like that that you might want, um, I always bring cash with me. Now, of course, nowadays, most of my stuff's on my debit card, so I use that a lot. But... Um, I always think some backup cash is always really, really handy in the hospital. So, so far, we got cash, we got computer, chargers, phone, um, we have inhalers, airway clearance devices, enzymes, and ibuprofen or Tylenol, uh, like pain medita medication, I guess you'd say. Um, stuff like that is what I always bring. Um, on top of that, of course, we have clothes. So, clothes in the hospital, ironically, are like the least important thing because they'll always provide you with like clothes or a gown and no one wants to see you run around naked right so um you know that's like the last worry but when i was going to the hospital a lot i actually did have a to-go bag um i'm not sure if i have it around i'll try to show you guys but it's a mini suitcase and it's actually a suitcase for like business travelers that fits you know a couple pairs of clothes and maybe a laptop um i would actually always have that packed with my like hospital clothes like the shirts i didn't care about uh, maybe like a couple pairs of sweatpants, a couple pairs of gym shorts, uh, some socks. And I'm a big fan of slippers, so I like I wear the UGG slippers with the fur on the side. So like I don't bring as many socks, and usually, you know, you don't like your cold feet like touching that cold floor. So I always like to wear socks or slippers, or whatever. Um, and I always wear shorts when I sleep, and then I always like walk around in sweatpants and a t-shirt, maybe a hoodie. Um, so I always make sure I had those comfy, comfy clothes, right? I don't wear hospital gowns, and I don't walk around naked. So I got a plan for that stuff. Um, and actually, when I was in college, I was sick a lot. And you know, this is the, the college guy in me, but I would actually always bring at least two pairs of jeans and a couple of nice shirts I liked. And that was in case, you know, maybe girls came to visit me that I thought were attractive and I liked. Or maybe I was just trying to, like, look presentable in front of my friends. I didn't want them to see me as a sick guy. Um, or maybe I would take a walk for some fresh air and I would put on some jeans and some nicer clothes. Um, of course, keep my, my hospital band on, rocking that. But uh, otherwise, I always took a couple of nice pairs. I know that's kind of odd maybe to some of you guys, but um, I thought it came in handy, especially in college when you're somewhere where you're going to have a lot of friends around you, you're going to have a lot of people visiting. Um, you know, people understand you're sick, they understand you're in the hospital, but like... Come on. But, um, okay. So clothes, computer, chargers, phone, enzymes, ibuprofen, Tylenol, uh, inhalers, airway clearance devices. So what else would you possibly need? Um, snacks. So, you know, the hospital, a lot of hospitals don't have everything. They do have some snacks on the floor. But I bring my favorite bags of chips. Um, I'm addicted to Smarties, guys. Like, I love to like balance my meals. It's not gonna make sense to you guys because it doesn't really make sense to me either. But like I'll eat a lot of meat, like burgers or chicken or whatever that is, like fried food. And on the side, I have to have Smarties. Um, it, to me, like it balances things out. So I bring Smarties. Um, I bring Fruit Loops. It's the only cereal I like. So I bring Fruit Loops, um, and I bring my favorite bags of chips, which is, like cheddar and sour cream chips or like Doritos, because they do have snacks on the floor. But after the cafeteria closes, that's pretty much all you have unless you want to order out. And you can't order out that many places except for like Jimmy John's or pizza. Um, so snacks are kind of essential, uh, especially if you're a picky eater like me. I'm a very picky eater. Um, let's see, anything else? I know this doesn't pertain to you guys, but I also, of course, bring my camera so I can do vlogs. Um, as you guys probably know, 
I tend to slack on my channel because I feel like I'm always busy. And luckily in the hospital, we are usually always busy with treatments or uh, x-rays or CT scans, stuff like that. But it's great to film. Um, I really like to capture that. And either film it or take pictures, put it on Instagram, my social media, stuff like that. So I'm always carrying my camera, maybe my tripod, uh, of course my camera charger and a couple batteries with me. Um, but you know, I don't expect all you guys to probably carry that because otherwise you would have your own YouTube channel by now, right? But um, just something else to think about. So another good one though, real quick, is hand sanitizer. Um, in the hospital, I want to be like extra clean, even though like it's clean anyway. But uh, the whole point of being there is to get better. So I don't want any germs around me, especially if you're walking around the hospital hallways, opening doors, things like that. If you take a walk, um, you know, antibiotics suppress your immune system. So the whole time you're in there, your immune system is being suppressed. So uh, I usually always have hand sanitizer in my backpack as well. Um, and I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys my suitcase real quick, just so you get an idea of how big this thing is. It's not very big, and you can cram a lot of stuff in there. So I bring the suitcase, and I bring my backpack. So let's take a look at that. So this, this right here is my backpack. So this is my typical to-go bag. Um, you know, it is kind of a larger backpack, but I can put everything in here. I usually have my laptop back here. Um, I have my enzymes and my pills in the, in the front. And then the big middle part, I will put my inhalers and my airway clearance devices. I might have an iPad in there. Um, you know, you guys might know about my past. I used to draw caricatures a lot, so uh, the iPad was a big deal. I always had to have my iPad with me, um, and I would draw caricatures while I was in the hospital. Now that I have my job, I'm usually programming apps, so um, it's not as essential. It's more like just my computer's very important. Oh, another big thing I saw real quick, right here. Check it out. So, headphones. Huge deal. Bring headphones to the hospital. Um, I don't know about you guys. But I love talking on the phone. Like, I'll talk on the phone for hours uh, with family, friends, whoever it may be. So, I always bring a headset to talk on the phone on. Um, and then, of course, if you listen to music, I mean, you can jam out and have the nurses come in. And, you know, I've done that before. But sometimes, you just want to be kept to yourself, put the headphones in, do what you got to do. Um, and then I always bring my Xbox as well um, right here. So, I kept the Xbox box, um, and I pack it in that. So, usually backpack, <coughs> mini suitcase, and this box is what I bring to the hospital. Uh, let's see if I can find that mini suitcase. All right, guys, guys, I looked. Oh, wait for our focus. I looked high and low for this suitcase, okay? And this is the room right now. It's my bedroom. All my clothes and boxes. Looked high and low for this thing, and it turns out it's in the one room that does not have lights yet. So I will show you guys, but I'm probably gonna get the flashlight out. Um, let's check it out here. So this is the suitcase I'm talking about. As you guys can see, it's very small. Uh, it just has a few front compartments, um, has a compartment for the laptop in the middle, and then it has a big compartment for our little clothes. So that's how tall it is. Give you a comparison next to my leg doesn't even go up to my knee guys um very small so it's very handy to, to have on you at the hospital because it's something that's lighter so you don't have to be sick and carry this big heavy suitcase with you uh, on top of that it's compact so it fits in uh small places in your hospital room and i just put that on there with my backpack and my xbox is in my hand usually so um, I hope that helps, guys. Uh, but, you know, it's it's really up to you guys. Like, there's no rhyme or reason to this stuff. Uh, whatever you guys like, take it to the hospital. You're going to be there for at least a week or two. Um, you know, try to improve on something. And funny story, just because it's here next to me, uh, when I was in college, I tried to learn guitar for a while. I'm not that great at it, to be honest. But um, I would bring my guitar to the hospital. Um, at least for a good like six months. So that's why I used to bring to the hospital, guys. I hope this kind of gave you some ideas. Uh, the key thing I'd say to take away from this is make a list. Um, you know, and it's, it's weird. You have to make a list of stuff that like, not the big stuff, not necessarily the Xbox or like clothes that you'd automatically think of. Try to think of the essential things that you use on a daily basis 
um, when you're bored or, or your free time. Like those are the things that are gonna matter the most. So hope that helps you guys. I hope you guys are having a good week. It is Christmas this week, so Merry Christmas guys. I'm going out of town to family's house. I can't wait, it's my favorite time of the year. I go out of town, um, just small, small country town down in uh, southern Missouri, and all we do is eat, sit around the table, and play some canasta. And that's a card game, like old people's card game. If you guys don't know what canasta is, look it up, it's very freaking cool. Everyone I've taught how to play loves it. But uh, anyway guys, that's what I'm doing this week. I hope you guys are gonna do something similar. Enjoy the holiday, enjoy family, and remember guys, it's not about presents or anything, it's about family time and spending time with the people that you love the most. So I hope you guys get to do that this week. And of course, stay salty and I'll see you next week. All right guys, have a good one, bye.